Ten years ago now, my wife Rochelle and I decided to put our fears aside and step into our common desire to explore. We wanted to wander, to see the world and share our stories with it. The risk was great, but our decision to act transformed into something we could have only prayed for, a new bearing. Discovering Overland Travel had made its mark on us, and Expedition Overland came to be. After two tough years of business development, our first three major expeditions took shape when a tight group of friends made the plunge into the unknown, an expedition to go north to Alaska. Eventually, we found ourselves at the top of the world in Prudhoe Bay, the northernmost end of the extensive Pan American Highway that extends from Alaska, the US, Central America, and the western edge of South America to its remote and distant end in southern Argentina. At that moment, standing at the top of the world, a bigger vision grabbed a hold. It was a vision to venture down to the opposite end, some 20,000 miles away. Over the next four years, two more expeditions came to be. The Central America expedition brought us through Baja, Mexico, to the end of the road at the infamous drug war zone known as the Darien Gap in Panama. Two years later, the most ambitious of the Pan American expeditions, South America, was underway. From Colombia, we rolled south through Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, and finally into Argentina, where our vision of completing the entire Pan American became reality. After the completion of the Pan American, we set new goals to push ourselves further as adventurers. We traveled all over the U.S. in our Overlander series, exploring our own backyard and beyond. From North America to Australia's Geographic Center with Patriot Campers. And since then, we have continued to push into more diverse stories, to build new skills and set our dreams loose on travels within the Great Pursuit. A true Overland Crossing of the U.S. with a twist. This year, we've tackled more diverse projects beyond the convoy with our new series, Solo, allowing more team members to fulfill their own visions of global exploration as a single unit. As individuals, our team members have accomplished incredible dreams of their own, from building their own businesses, raising families, and becoming leaders in their fields and taking on great challenges. Rochelle has participated in five rallies, three in Morocco and two at the Rebel Rally here in the States. And this year, she will be defending her championship title as she heads towards her sixth rally, now driving for Lexus. Richard and Ashley Giordano have spent two years exploring Central and South America in their famous little red pickup. And in 2020, they completed their northern journey to Tuktoyaktuk in the dead of winter in our first ever solo series debut. Kurt and I have had the privilege to be a part of the E7 expedition team, crossing Russia together, South America, Central America, and in 2018, the historic crossing of the Greenland Ice Sheet in Arctic Trucks, where we made our first ever feature film. All in, we have built 17 vehicles, had 40 crew members and staff, 45 cameras, 
15 drones. We've edited 82 broadcast ready episodes and created 110 custom soundtracks in one feature film. We have visited 24 countries, been through 42 border crossings, and we have camped over 500 nights with over 1 million collective miles rolled on General Tires. We have learned new skills, built lifelong friendships, and experienced more than we ever imagined. It's been a good 10 years. But now, we are embarking on a new decade where we will work to reach horizons beyond what we can see, to reach for the impossible and see where this crazy thing we call Expedition Overland will take us. do what you're created to do. Go out and be who you're created to be. Life's too short. From everyone here at XO, to all our fans and supporters, we say thank you.